Yeah, I'm gonna do a weekly update. Planning to be at a party tomorrow, so we can do it today, day early, Friday, July 1st. And the potatoes uh, laying down. As I see any sticking up, I have to cover them with mulch so the sun don't burn them. But uh, as we need them, we've been picking them. Okay, to come over here. I had some patty pan squash I put in last week with the lettuce that got eaten by the woodchucks. It's gone from two leaves to a nice sized plant already. Another one went over here. And the zucchini is starting to grow. There were some pretty ratty looking plants like this one right here, but uh, they're doing much better now. Got some blossoms, getting some bugs, so I'll work on that. As you can see, the uh, cucumbers over here, these are pickling cukes. Bugs are on them. But uh, I've been putting clips on them to try to keep them uh, attached to this cattle panel so, so, so they'll climb and uh, it's, uh, come out every day and check on them and they look like they need to be clipped up again. Come over here to the uh, pole beans on the cattle panel. They're doing good. I'm getting some pole beans. Show's going to be picking them the bush style beans where you, there's quite a few beans in here. We got enough for a meal now. The bush style beans, you have to get down on you. A lot of stooping low and low to the ground and tough on the back. So, we'll see. These look uh, much better. I'm happy. These are longer beans, too, so. Jeez. Nice, nice ones. So, there's a lot of beans. Front, back, all over. Do a quick little walk around. That's a there's beans on this side too, you can see inside. So I, I we got a, we definitely got a meal. I really don't want to start canning them this time of the year, but it is what it is. Here's our, uh, I'm getting clips on these. Butternut squash, trying to get it to climb up these shepherd's hooks. Again, I do mostly finger picking of bugs, like that one. I see some damage and I, I finger pick and squash them, so I don't use any chemicals, it's an organic garden. Corn that I planted from seed is growing well. The stuff I transplanted is already starting to tassel. I know I spent too much time in the greenhouse, but it's doing pretty good. Uh, this corn over here is like seven and a half feet tall now. It's tasseling out, it's all tasseled out really nice. We get on the other side, the sun is really brutal here. I counted silk today, there's a lot of silk showing. And uh, I don't know if I can reach the top of those tassels, they're higher than I can reach. So they're pretty close to eight feet. Let me step up on the garden bed next to it. There's 41 cobs tasseled out, I mean, uh, silked out already. So the tasseling is, let me get the camera up to the tassels. They're looking good. So we hope we get some good pollination. Tomatoes uh, have uh, exceeded their cages. Lots of blossoms. Some small tomatoes in there. Still a little early for tomatoes, but we'll, uh, we'll get some. I live near an airport, so I gotta put up with the noise. Sugar snap peas are uh, now at the top of the fence. There and over here. Doing good. We uh, pulled a bunch of beets. We've been eating beets. Look at these beautiful greens. Just beautiful. We've been eating beets and greens and picked some chard. Not a lot of leaf miner. A little bit. Some broccoli heads in there. Here and over here there's some more broccoli heads. Some of the other ones haven't started yet but they will. Just a matter of time. Uh, the Brussels sprouts. The plants are doing good. As you can see down in there, they all come around the base of the uh, 
they'll come along the stalks as the season grows and they grow up high and we'll, we'll get a lot. We've grown them in the past. Peppa's doing okay. Got, to, got warm nights now, so they're starting to grow. There's a green pepper in it. These are lady bells, these four, first four here. The last eight are all jalapenos. We like jalapenos because we, uh, we make our own uh, rubs uh, from our own peppers. So. There's some there, some down here. Parsley's been doing great all year. Try to stay where the sun isn't too bad. I got a lot of, lot of kale. More than we can eat, can't keep up. Onions are ready. Picking them as we need. I'm gonna start bunching them. When the tops start to lay over, that's when I tie them up and dry them. See what we can keep. Still some peas left, we've been eating them. We've had two or three meals of those. So let me take you over to the berry patch. We're, we're picking uh, blueberries uh, and uh, black, blackberries. We started getting blackberries a couple days ago. And uh, all on now. Some nice berries, as you can see. They're all ripening. Very, very good. Some are a little tart. Blueberries, I'm getting them even all the way out to the very first plant now, so all plants are having a few blueberries. I kind of go fast over this a little bit. I try to keep my plants, my uh, videos short so there's another one here we don't want to miss the blackberries but uh, they look better from the other side anyway so here's a, another one here you can see them they're just just really nice lots of them waiting that branch right down come back Couple more blueberry plants here we'll show. Getting starting to get some new growth on the blueberries, which is what I've been hoping for. I put this uh, put the peas in. 12 and a half foot section of peas, so I should get 25 feet of peas in September, first week of September. The uh, if you look down here you'll see that the Gold raspberries are really doing good. And uh, try to work with the sun here a little bit. So we're going to come all the way down and check them out. We'll come back so that the sun's not bothering me on the blackberries. So, well, there's quite a few golds in there for a taste, but not like you're going to make jam out of them. There's not enough. So now we can get this way. A lot of, and the ones I thought dried up are more or less just uh, smaller berries. There's a lot of, a lot of these are really good sized berries. If you put them in your hand, you can kind of get a feel for how big they are. There's some down in there. They're in here. They're 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 just. It's just loaded with berries. More coming. So you can see the new growth. That's got to be lopped off right there so it starts spreading. I need side shoots to come out of them. That's one of the things I learned. When you get the side shoots, that's when you get to uh, more berries. That's how you force them to give you a lot more berries, get side shoots like this, I cut it off here last year, you see right there, and I get these side shoots. And that's what's given me all of these berries this spring. So, be, being an ever bearer, when they get up this tall, like this one's gotta be trained, I gotta put a clip on it. And uh, then they'll give me side shoots, so. That's it for today's update, and today's July 1st.